welcome. This is the Energy Vibration Week for all seven Lightning Aquarians. I want to say welcome. This is the third quarter of the year 2017, and this reading is for the month of July, August, and September. For you Aquarians, it's going to be one fantastic time because you have a your energy vibration for the third quarter is going to be the wheel of fortune so congratulations to all the Aquarians out there who have been doing wonderful positive works and uh, to everyone and this is going to show everyone what vibrational energies is happening to you and where you are on your vibrational changing the energy that you um, vibrate in okay so if you're vibrating in positive energy this wheel of fortune is going to bring you wonderful success in your life extreme success is going to come in your life for you Aquarians in the third quarter so be aware of the energy vibration that you're giving off because whatsoever you're giving off this is what will come back to you and this is going to be you know a wonderful setting to see how we have changed throughout this year and how we have actually um, connect with um, who we are as a beam who we are here and the journey that we are on because if you have been giving out positive energies you're going to have achievement and success because whatsoever you give out that is what the end the wheel of fortune will be bringing back to you in this third quarter so your energy vibration you have the energy vibration of the wheel of fortune this is extremely wonderful um, I wish only the best for people the wheel of fortune comes back in the month of August so be aware of this <coughs> sorry as we look at the month of July month of July we have the energy of the tower the energy of the tower in the month of July is a cleansing so let's see we have finished the first half of the year 2017 and in July there is a huge cleansing coming in so a lot of things is going to be torn out of your life in July be aware of this because the energy vibration is so powerful in July this cleansing needs to come in because whatsoever aspect that you're going through whatsoever you are going through in your life this cleansing whatsoever no longer serve you is going to be taken away from you and release that area to bring in positive new things new energy new people new surroundings that is bringing positive energies to you guys okay so I've always said to people whenever the tower comes in it is the most positive card in these card deck and people do not understand that the energy of the tower means that things that you no longer need needs to be removed so that the energy vibration can be cleansed it's as if you move away from a house it's as if you move away how to certain people energy vibration the tower is here and it brings after this cleansing the Sun so wonderful isn't it so this is extremely wonderful and this is going to bring you like positive positive energies that is going to come into you and this is going to be a time when we need to understand that life is really full of beautiful beautiful surprises and these surprises are going to come in in the month of July after the cleansing as we look at the month of August we have the wheel of fortunes coming back some this is what I'm saying to you Aquarians whatsoever is happening in July whatsoever that needs to leave you whatsoever is moving away out of your life whatsoever break up whatsoever shake up that is happening in July it is okay because what is happening is that the energies are cleansing for new positive things to come in and with that you are going to find yourself with inner wisdom and understanding but yet still the spiritual aspect of this situation is going to cleanse a lot of positive energies around you so be aware of that whenever things uh, and situation happens where 
things are leaving, relationships are ending, this, and work are ending, and you're moving on, and you have to move to a new place, and you have to leave somewhere where you have, you have to leave something behind. It's good because you have learned the lesson with that situation. So look at it in a positive way. And you can't hold on on things. You need to understand that things need to evaluate and move in your life so the positive energies can come in. So, you know, as I said, with the tower and then the wheel of fortune, it's so positive because the energy of the tower is here moving certain aspect out of your life and you are going to see that you are going to bring in positive energy and in july with the wheel of fortune and the and and, and the air and the hermit it's going to be wonderful people so be aware of that life changes because we need to move away from certain things okay we have learned the lesson this planet is a planet of it's like a school that you come to learn lessons and when you're finished learning your lessons you need to move on as we move forward we have in the month of September in the month of September we have the Empress oh the justice sorry we have the energy of justice so whatever that was injustice and unbalanced on this earthly atmosphere whatever it doesn't have to be that you have something a lawsuit some people it will that you have a lawsuit some people um, who doesn't have lawsuit or conflicts with groups of organization but whatsoever is happening is there is going to be an end justice is prevailing over an horrible situation that has happened to you a balance that has happened to you it can be situation with your family members and that sort of a thing but it is a situation that justice is prevailing whatever that was injustice against you on this planetary system at this time justice is going to prevail and you're going to see that in the month of September another wonderful energy and obviously this is saying as I've said it has to do with the organization whatsoever that was happening you have justified over this organization whoever these people are wherever they have been whoever they are you have justified you have win whatever if it's a conflict something that people were lying and that sort of a thing the, 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 the people has been dishonest with the grace of your angels that's why I, I, I'm saying to you again whatever is happening call upon the angels and guides to help you throughout whatever situation because whatsoever was happening you have come over and come out on top you are justified you stand strong and is being justified against the negative action of these people in an organization and you know this is wonderful because I love when justice prevail because there's nothing I dislike than dishonest people and people who lies and do things that is not honest and think they can get away with it and I've always said the universe when you ask the universe for divine intervention in things, it happens because the source, the angels, the guides, the people in the spirit world see the unjust that is happening. And this is why they said, if you do not ask for help, we cannot um, intervene without you asking for help. So again, learn. If even you can't see them, if even you can't touch them, Ask the universe for help and it will always be given. The energy vibration for love in the squat of for you Aquarians is not really one of the most beautiful things because you have the seven of swords. Seven of swords. There is um, people trying to get away with things with you. This honest people are in your boot so look at your relationships very closely there are dishonest people there are people who are going to call and pretend as if they are something else you have very extremely dishonest people who are um, um, doing as if 
they're playing some game so be aware of these people because people are trying to get away with things but they're not going to get away with it just you know call upon the universe to say I am asking for divine intervention in this situation people are trying to get to, to people are trying to um, deceive me let them be um, you know ask the universe to let them be shown up for the people who are lying and deceiving let the universe show them up for the liars who they are you know I really really can't deal with this honest people I don't know why we need to be dishonest I don't know why you need to aid somebody because of something that they have I don't I don't know why you want to make somebody be who you want them to be I don't think that anyone has the um, the, the, the energy of uh, placing people in certain situation and people are dishonest and especially when they're being caught with their dishonesty this is what I truly truly like for because there's some people who have no idea how people sit and plot against other people and I've always said if you dig a hole for someone dig another one for yourself because you're going to fall in it be aware of what you give out to other people this is the um, the, the, the energy in this year is the energy what whatever you wish for someone else is it's not good it's going to happen to you okay so what is happening is that the energy vibration is seen the people who are vibrating with higher energy vibration and if you wish something for someone be aware of within a month or four weeks that is always happening to you so be aware of this whatever is happening with this negative deceiving relationship that is going on let it go you don't need him you don't need her okay let it go whatever is happening let it go you don't need them um, this honest people are supposed to stay with this honest people um, negativity um, attract negativity let them go okay take the positive take the good road go with um, what you're feeling if you're feeling that a relationship or someone in a relationship is not being honest then they're not being honest and it doesn't have to be in a relationship but it can be people around you, your girlfriends and that sort of a thing who pretend to be nice to you but behind your back there's something else so there's a strong um, negative aspect that is playing uh, with you Aries people be aware of the situation act upon your intuition okay I can go on for hours but I'm leaving it at that business in the first week business is going to be good if you need to leave the organization leave because something good is going to come through for the people who are working for other people for the business people if there's going to come an end to a relationship or a, a, um, a, a business a contract or um, a, 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 um, yeah working together with someone I uh, just leave it like, work away as we look at the second week we have the energy vibration of the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is bringing wonderful energy so this is good for a business the wheel of fortune is good for business because if you're doing something good um, I, um, to help other people you're going to see that the wheel is going to bring you very wonderful gifts in as we look at the third week whatsoever that was unjust or you did somebody something unjust it's going to catch you it's going to caught up on you in the month of September so be aware so with business whatsoever has been going on and for some people you're going to win a, a lawsuit for some people it's going to be whatever you gave out it's going you're going to receive it as we go to um, the um, consciousness the energy of the consciousness we have the energy vibration of I think it's uh, um, the priest the the present the present I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present again I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present again I fully experience every moment of my life by being in the present it is so and it will be whenever we accept the present now 
nothing else not yesterday not tomorrow not two minutes not an hour from now we understand where we are we need to live first in the present because most people forget to breathe and never live in the present so we're going to learn in this third quarter you Aquarians you're going to learn to live in the present moment not what is going to happen tomorrow not what has happened but the moment this minute when you're watching this video what's going on with you how the this is affecting you and your energy vibration okay as we move on I'm working with the unicorn energy we have Archangel Michael and he says no sorry it's not Archangel Michael we have Archangel Uriel tell you guys I need to wear my glasses Archangel Uriel and he says become a peacemaker become a peacemaker ambassador become a peacemaker ambassador become a peacemaker ambassador okay whatsoever is happening around you when Archangel Uriel comes up and is asking you to be a peacemaker ambassador it's a wonderful thing because what is happening is that there is a situation that is going on and maybe you're fighting with other people you are not you are um, upset about certain aspect and um, it is a sense um, that you need to um, accept what is going on um, and um, you need to move on and understand that sometimes it's better to let go and walk away okay sometimes it's better to let go and walk away so the aspect of we bringing in that peacemaker of trying to make peace sometimes sometimes I I don't um, Sometimes I just say I don't really have an opinion just to make the peace <laughs> and you will say well that is not really but sometimes you can explain something to someone but when people have their own thoughts about something you can't change that no matter what you do so I to keep the peace sometimes I just don't have any opinion and I'm thinking within me okay I need to leave this you know let people um, find their way out in certain things okay so this is what I'm teaching you be the peacemaker in this quarter whatever is happening be the peacemaker last card drink a lot of water people and when you're drinking water say water I love you I bless you and I thank you I direct you to spread love around this planet so water I love you water I love you I bless you and thank you direct and spread love around this planet every time you're having water to drink make sure that you ask water because um, um, your guidance is to bless water everywhere to bring it into the fifth dimension and ask the Posidim to link you to the music of the Seraphimi to access the sound of your perfect divine blueprint and start to resonate it and this is what I'm trying to explain to a lot of people especially um, when you call for a reading there are certain things I will have enough time to explain certain things to people we all were born with a divine blueprint we're not houses but we were all born with a divine blueprint just like we have DNA structures okay people and within our DNA, within our blueprint if you um, drink a lot of water and you're starting to change your whole aspect of how you take in food and you call upon your higher self to um, show you what is your divine blueprint it automatically come forth okay it's automatically come forth 
I want to say to you, if you'd like to join me to know more about yourself and connect with me, you can always connect with me on Clarity or you can connect via the website, KatieCon. The link is down below. And um, have a wonderful last. You know, this is the quarter and have a wonderful time there. Please remember to listen to the month readings. Connect with the quarter readings again and see what you have missing out because there's so many information coming in. I can just go on, but I have the other signs to do. So I want to say be a peacemaker this month, no matter what is going on. And um, I'm wishing you a wonderful quarter. So I'll see you next month. Namaste.